Being trusted and trustworthy on your team is absolutely critical to what it feels like to go to work and what kind of assignments you get and whether they actually get done and done well and all sorts of other important things. And a key piece of that is making sure that your colleagues feel that you are reliable. There are not that many reliable people out there these days. We promise. And then, you know, at the 11th hour, people are saying, um, hi, you said you were going to have this to me. I haven't seen it yet. Just following up. Oh, those dread follow up emails. Every single one chips away at the sense that you are a dependable, reliable colleague. So protecting and actually investing in people's sense that you are reliable is one of the most important things you can do to be a trustworthy colleague. So how do you do that? Well, one, the biggest mistake is that we don't invest the time to get aligned on expectations up front. We're in a rush, we're doing it by email, and we leave things unclear. So if you go off and do what you thought was your responsibility, the other person was expecting something different, what you get is the like, oh, I knew I couldn't count on you. When it wasn't that they couldn't count on you at all, it was that they were counting on you for something different than you thought. So spend the time to say, okay, are we clear that, you know, this is what I'm doing, this is what I'm doing it by, this is what good looks like. Another piece of being reliable is asking the question, okay, when do you want me to escalate to you? Or are there situations where I should come to you or not try and handle it on my own? It's another thing that says, ooh, this, I can rely on this person, but also they're not gonna overstep my trust and they're going to come to me with the right kind of things. That's a really good tip to ask that question up front. Then don't wait till the Friday deadline to give them a sense that, nope, you're on this Monday. Send a note. Just want to let you know everything on track for Friday. Or I did this little piece of the puzzle. Did you want to peek at it uh, as one of the steps toward Friday? They may say no, they're probably too busy to do that. But offering, whew, that gives you a lot of brownie points on the reliability factor. And then here's the most counterintuitive of all. If on Wednesday, or better yet, on Monday, you realize you are not on the glide path for delivering on Friday as you promised, we think that the reliable, trustworthy, dependable colleague just kind of does whatever they can and tries to get the Hail Mary midnight on Friday. No, counterintuitively, you're going to be perceived as more reliable if instead on Wednesday, or better yet, Monday, you say, I am not on the path for this. I need your help. Can we have a quick huddle? Do we have alternatives? Can we get some more resources? Can I do this piece? But is there anyone else who could take this other piece? I know it seems like that makes you less dependable, but actually what it says is that they don't have to worry about being vulnerable because you're going to give them a heads up. They're always going to have options about how to get the Friday outcome, even if things aren't the right path. So the reliable person, the dependable, trustworthy colleague calls it early if there's some reason why they're not going to deliver. So making sure that your colleagues are comfortable to be vulnerable, needing you to deliver something and knowing you are going to come through for them is a key piece. But even more fundamental than that, even before you worry about are you dependable and reliable? You need to worry about, do your colleagues think you're competent? Are they willing to trust that you're capable of what they need you to do? And that's in this next video, the tips and tricks for how to be perceived as more capable.